Yes, I'm Gabe Krebs. Um, grew up in Lakeville, born and raised. Uh, currently employed by Interstate Power Systems. Uh, moved up to the assistant foreman spot in the Allison department. So all I specialize in is um, transmissions in bigger trucks, such as like dump trucks, buses, plow trucks, um, things of that nature. I uh, went to Lakeville South. I uh, went to Lakeville schools all through my um, K through 12. And then um, halfway, th or halfway through my junior year in high school, I t attended the PSEO program in Dakota County. Uh, which I ended up getting my associate's degree in heavy duty truck program. Ended up um, actually graduating the same year with my associate's degree as I did um, high school. So I knocked both of them out in the same 20, in 2019 there. Um, I had to do a little digging, but um, I just found the traditional route of going to a four-year college and um, just an office job wasn't what I wanted to do. So I started talking to my dean, finding out more options. I um, just knew I didn't want to do that, so I just wanted to see what was out there. And she introduced me to this, that program where you can go to a co get college credits while you're still in high school without having to pay for them. So I jumped on board on that and happy I did. While you're in high school, attending the same, they kind of two birds, one stone, where um, you're getting the high school credits you need to get your uh, diploma there, as well as putting your those credits towards um, associate's degree or bachelor's degree, whatever you're looking at doing there. And um, so I was going through the same class that um, people are paying to go for. and end up um, not having to pay for any of it through the PSEO program, so that's the benefit of it. And it's kind of nice to get out and specialize and do something you want to do and get one step ahead when you want to graduate college and be up to two years ahead of the next guy. What I found in Dakota County was a little more what I was looking for, for a um, hands-on trade school type of environment. And that's where I found that heavy-duty truck program. And um, a lot of work, I mean, it's not, nothing easy. You gotta know what you want to do and roll with it. But um, if that's what you're looking to do, it can benefit you in the long run. Um, they have a career fair, so they get up to 40 employers in during a day. So then um, you bounce around talking to various people, such as bodybuilders, uh, OEMs, dealers. I mean, they, you name it, they got it for in this industry. And um, I mean, they're, everyone's looking for employees right now. So it's if you find something you like doing, talk a little more about it, see what they're all about. And usually you can lead up with a interview and maybe a job after that. Um, I just like being able to spend my time instead of boring high school days of lugging through class here I could actually do something I like doing so it really didn't feel like school to me anymore it's just learning something I wanted to do and um, the fact that you're getting that piece of paper saying you know how to do something at the end it kind of cherry on the top for that. So the last semester uh, it's a requirement for the last half of it to be for an internship so all you do is go to work and that's where you get your grade from for graduating from college and um, so throughout the, throughout the two years you're there, there's tons of opportunities for different employers offering jobs or looking for new techs. And uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to find, find something that you like doing, at least for get your feet wet, see if you like it, don't like it. You get a hundred, almost 100% placement rate for employment when you graduate high school just due to the fact that we have to do an internship and that's how you get your final grade of the class. Um, I, I definitely talk to your deans or principals, whoever the administrative is at your school, and um, just see what your options are, see if they offer that. Some schools do, some don't, but um, if they have it and you're looking at getting the trades or any sort of, you just getting your generals done, so when you do go to your four-year college, if that's what you want to do, you can be one step ahead and have a few of those knocked out by the time you get there. I grew up around uh, people working in the trades, and I just saw the job security there, and um, just the ability to move around. You don't have to just do one thing. It's pretty easy to kind of bounce around, kind of tailored to what exactly you want to do. And um, I mean, everyone's always the trades are always going to be there. Someone's going to have to move dirt to build buildings to make roads. It's that's not going away. So. If you can be the guy doing that, you can definitely excel in it if you like doing it. Like if you have an electrical issue in your house or a plumbing issue, uh, it's just all too common. No one knows how to fix it themselves, so they say, oh, I know a guy, or talk to a friend, oh, I know a guy, which in reality, it's not that hard to be that guy. Just uh, spend a little bit of time learning a trade and uh, figure out whichever one you like the best, and you can be that guy and have a, if you like doing it, it doesn't feel like work anymore. It's, you're helping out people and making money while you're doing it.